Welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today I'm going to show you what our homeschool room looks like. So today I thought that I would just share with you what I have kind of turned into our homeschool space. It's not necessarily its own room with like four walls and everything. It's a space in our basement that I am using, but I am going to kind of show you what I've done and if you are new to homeschooling like me, then leave me a comment down below and let me know that we're in this together because I am learning. I did not necessarily make the switch because of everything that's going on. I had already planned on making the switch last fall. Um, we just kind of decided that for our family that we wanted to homeschool this fall and this year. So that is what we're doing. I have a kindergartner and a fifth grader. So I have two kids that I am homeschooling down here and then also I have two little kids, a two-year-old and a one-year-old that have a play area down here that they can play in while we're doing school. So let me show you our homeschool area. I'm gonna kind of give you a pan of our basement so you can see it's not perfectly cleaned by any means, but so that you can see kind of what I'm talking about. This is our play room area over here with the bookshelves and the TV, and then all of the kids' toys, and then here are our stairs coming down into the basement. And this is, the kids were watching a movie, so the TV's on, but this is our living area down here. I have a desk over here, and then this area used to be our bar and like gaming table or, you know, board game table, but I have turned this space into our homeschool area, so. I will start over here. We took everything out of the bar. Well, this, I have a bandaid on my finger, sorry. This cabinet has random stuff in it and so does this cabinet, but the other two cabinets in this drawer have some homeschool supplies, so I'll show you that. And then these decor pieces used to be on the table. They're just right there for now. Over here, I'm storing some books that, are more um, chapter books and the learning to read books because um, our other bookshelf is more picture books. And then I have all of our Bible books and um, just some learning games, coloring stuff for my two-year-old and then um, some other little games. This is like some uh, bingo, learning bingo games. So set with sight words. So there is that cabinet. Yeah, it's not super beautiful to look at by any means, but it is holding a purpose, so that is good. I'm just grateful to have a space that I can put all of these things. Um, moving on to this other cabinet. This is where I have all of their curriculum that I have right now, and then um, extra notebooks, lined paper. We haven't started yet. We're starting on Monday, this coming week, but um, folders, notebooks, lined paper. Here's my hole punch. And then this has just um, some writing prompts that I printed off and I'll fill it with some other things. But here are their um, books. So I printed um, most everything that they are going to be doing. This is the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts that you can print that for free. And then I have a science unit that you can print for free there. And then Henry's um, handwriting and math, I still am getting his phonics um, and reading stuff in. But, so we have Kylie's binder. And if you have any suggestions on how I could label this, because it is just, um, you know, computer paper stacked up, I, I wanted to be able to see where each book was. So if you have any suggestions other than post-it notes, let me know down in the comments. I have Henry stuff on this side, Kylie stuff on this side, and then this is just extra um, old, pre old preschool stuff that um, we didn't work all the way through. This is fourth grade stuff that um, we got in the spring when, you know, everything happened in school um, let up. I just went and bought her some fourth grade curriculum. So we worked through some of that, but definitely didn't get through all of it. And then just some extra folders up there. So that is what this cabinet looks like. And I'm sure, you know, this is all 
for right now. Um, as we get into as we get into the year, um, you know, things will probably change, but I have a little trash can. That's one thing that I want to get. I want to get a bigger trash can. And then here is just a file cabinet that I have that has nothing to do with our homeschool area. And then this I got, I saw this idea on somebody else's homeschool video and I cannot remember, but I got one of these bins at Walmart. It was $3 and change. I don't remember. It was cheap. And then I got these file folders and I have all of their, so this is um, some of my stuff and then like their weekly work is in these folders and then their finished work is going to go in a folder as well. So that is what that is for. And then here are just a bunch of bins that I got at, um, I want to say most of, so the little ones are from Dollar Tree and then that one and this one I think are from Target. And I just have my dry erase markers, the cleaner for our whiteboard, index cards, post-it notes, markers, glue sticks, you know, all of those supplies. And then the books behind there are books that I got at the library to go with our science unit that we are doing. We're doing marine biology. So I got those books to kind of go along with what we're doing. And then this bin just has a bunch of index cards, or I'm sorry, a bunch of flashcards. Um, and these are... Uh, this is something I picked up, I think, at Dollar Tree. There's sight words on. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But there is all of that. And then in this drawer, I just have extra supplies. It's not super organized, but this one's actually empty. Um, just crayons and stickers and push pens, paper clips, things like that. So there is that. And then I'll kind of give you a pan of what this looks like. So here is our, like I said earlier, our um, living space. And then here is the homeschool space. Okay, so I just have some um, posters on the wall. I got those two off of Amazon just to kind of help Kylie out with her multiplication facts and that one came with it. And then I have some other posters up. Just, I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but um, they're for Henry for, um, he's in kindergarten, so he needs, you know, his alphabet around. I also got this border at the Dollar Tree and I just um, thumbtacked it up there. And I think it looks cute. Then the kids have some artwork on the door and that's just, um, some tape holding it up it's not nothing's like permanent on there I made this colored clip chart for Henry it worked out good for Kylie when she was in kindergarten so I'm hoping hoping that that'll work out good for Henry and you just kind of if you've never seen this they move their clip up and down depending on how they're doing throughout the day and then you know if it's a bad day we're going to try to avoid having a bad day, but you know what I mean. Hopefully this will help him see that he needs to either slow down and think about what he's doing or keep going. He's on a good track, things like that. So then I just had this um, bulletin board that was in one of our kids rooms and I just put it in here so that I could put, sorry, let's move over here. I put it in here so that I could put our calendar on it and things like that and I ended up so our science unit like I said is marine biology it has a bunch of these vocabulary flashcards and I put them up here so that the kids could look at them while we're doing our science unit I have a little bible verse up there and a clock and then yes we made we did all of these homemade you can buy them but um, we did our month and then over here I have a basket that has my daughter Kylie drew, you know, different weather on these little, it's like cardstock and I laminated it. And then we have the days and the days of the week. And then this, I did have a schedule up there. So if I ever wanted to put that back up, um, it has the times and then our schedule 
but I didn't, it took up most of this board and I wanted to use it for something else. So we still have that if we need it. And then this over here is, it goes with our weather. If it's hot, warm, cool, cold, things like that for Henry really. So that is the bulletin board. Up here I just have a globe and an old air freshener that I need to throw away. And then um, a dictionary and a thesaurus. And then my husband, let me back up so you can see. My husband built this corner shelf for me, which I'm so grateful for because I, I wanted some sort of storage, but there's not a whole lot of room. So um, he went ahead and built this for me and painted it the color I wanted. We got the plans off of Pinterest and he did such a good job. And then down here, I just store the extra months that go for our calendar and then special holiday things that we can put up on our calendar and then our laminator. That's all I have in there for right now. And then I got these baskets to go on these shelves and this is housing some books and a Bible um, curriculum. It's a movie and a book that we're gonna do the first week of school. And then this one is just some fun fun game card games if we need a break in our day. This one is something that I got at Dollar Tree for Henry. It has to do with reading, learning your alphabet, things like that. And then I have a pointer here for him. And then this bin just has um, more of my pencils and pens, things like that. And then I also have individual little dry erase boards. And this is something that they made, the Days of Creation. <laughs> That's just sitting up there. So that is our cabinet. And then this dry erase board is something that my husband built. You can get the backing for the dry erase board at, it was either Home Depot or Lowe's that we got that. And it was really cheap because they're not cheap on Amazon. And it's big, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's a good size. And then he just put wood around it to border it and painted it the same color as my corner cabinet. And yeah, I love it so much. And I'm so grateful for him for doing that for me. And here is our table. Like I said, this used to just be like a game, a game table where we would play board games and stuff. But now it's working out that it's going to be our homeschool space. That pretty much wraps up my little tour of our homeschool area. I know that some people have a whole room dedicated to it and some people do it at their dining room table and I don't think that there is a right or a wrong way to do it. I am grateful that I have a separate space to put things in, but I also love that it is down here where the other kids can play and it's not in its own closed off room. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and I appreciate it a lot. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.